How you doing? I'm Alex Oak with Sea on Our Boats and this is our 2014 32 foot tournament edition. As you can see I'm standing in the front of the boat and there's plenty of room up here to work. There's a nice large fish box directly in the center and that is all insulated because the entire boat is full of foam. Looking at the bow, you see we have combing bolsters all the way around, a nice recessed grab rail. We have the ability to add rod holders all the way around the boat, and a nice anchor locker directly in the front. As you can see, we're in the anchor position now. It's a nice, easy, closes for a nice flat surface. Looking back at the console, you have a nice seat directly in front of the console with a cooler underneath. You have dry storage on port and starboard sides. And as you can see, we have a nice hard top on this boat. Great place to add radar, night vision, spotlight, anything up there. Underneath the hard top, you see we got tons of shade under here. We got plenty of lighting, lighting forward aft, LED lights here. We also have some Rupp Z30 outriggers built into the hard top with carbon fiber rods. And on the back of this uh, T-top, we have rocket launchers as well. Looking at the dash of the console, you can see we have a nice large carbon fiber dash here. You can equip this however you'd like with electronics. It'll hold two 12-inch screens, one 15-inch screen. All of your accessory switches are directly under. They're out of the elements, hidden away. That all closes down and locks into place. You have a nice center steer for auto controls and uh, trim tab controls as well. Looking back at the seat, our leaning post here, we got storage in the seat, a nice backrest. We have additional storage directly below the seat as well. This is a great place for tackle bags or beach bags. Rod holders across with cup holders. A nice grab rail as you come around. And an additional seat facing rear. The seat has a little bit of compartment for tackle and more tackle storage. Directly underneath this seat is another cooler. Now below my feet here, you see we have two hatches. This first hatch is a nice large fish box. This carries all the way to about the front of the leaning post and holds several hundred pounds of fish. Again, that is insulated because the entire boat is foam filled. Directly behind that hatch, we have the bilge area. This is a nice large area. Everything is nicely labeled and organized. If you had to get in there for any reason and shut something off, you could do so. Looking directly at the transom, you see we have two nice large live bait wells. These are 50 gallon live bait wells. They are pressurized and hold a ton of bait for the entire day. Directly in the middle of those bait wells, we have our transom door. This turns the back of the boat into a dive platform. So we got tons of room on either side of these Verados where you can get in and out of the boat. You see we're down here in the Dakota Keys, and if I wanted to take a snorkel or dive for lobster, I can do so effortlessly. Now this particular boat has twin 300 horsepower Verado four strokes, done by Mercury. Standing inside the console on our 32, you can see I got plenty of headroom. I'm about six foot tall, and there's plenty of room to move around in here. You got storage in the front here. That's a great place for charts and, and the miscellaneous items. You also have your battery switches and uh, breaker switches in here. There's plenty of room in here. I can add a head if I'd like, or it makes for great rod storage. This also locks. I'm Alex Hoke. This is our 2014 32-foot Sea Hunter Tournament Edition. Thanks for watching and have a great day.